Hi guys and welcome back to Marie's Acrylic and Gel Nails here in Central Queensland. It's night time here. So, okay, we're going to move on and I've just got these four out. We're going to move on to doing Frenches. So I've got four because I'm going to do two one way and two the other way. So our base coat goes on and I am going to give my base coat a second to dry and while it's having that second because normally what you would be doing would be you do all five fingers on your right hand and then all five fingers on your left hand and by the time you get back to your right hand again the base coat would be fairly tacky. Again, I'm using OPI's natural base coat. Um, if you had a client that were needed strengtheners or ridge fillers, this is when you would now apply it. And again, I'd give it a little bit of time before you move into the next colours. So what I will do is I've chosen Don't Bust My Bubble as my natural pink that I'm going to use and that's my white and it is called Peace Baby okay so they're the two colors that I will be using while that's drying a little bit I'll just um, there's my little ladybug I've just put them up on my cushion and there's my flower they are huge money spinners. You do it for a customer for free who's not too keen. And tell you next time, they'll be begging. So, let's start off with our traditional French. So, I'm just opening up my white. So, we start and we do by doing a V. Now you can leave that V or you can clean it up. Now I am going to fix up here and I'm going to come around and just swoop back that way so I get a nice deep smile line. And then I'm going to pull down my excess polish because that's nothing worse than streaky shadowy white. Okay, so that's one way, or that's the way the textbook says to do it. Just going to get that little bit there. The other way you can do it, which I prefer, is you can come in, go up, and push up, and pull down. And then I am just going to lightly go over that just to get hide some of those streaks and blend it through a little bit better. Make sure I've got my edges caught down here and of course we all cap our free ends. So there's that way. And I'm just going to clean off those little bits of sides there. Or, I don't like that. I like my, my white to be white. So what I do is I come in with my pink. And I am going to put down a coat. 
of my pink and I'm going to put down another coat on this thingy I don't bother capping the free edges with this I mean I really don't need the pink all the way down so I'm going to come back to these and I'm just going to give them their second coat and again because I wasn't being careful I'm just going to clean up my sides so again on this finger and somewhere I grabbed a hair So again, I'm just going to work this the same way as I applied it. I'm just going to push it up and down. So, and up. Okay. And I'm going to make sure that free edge is capped. Now this is a very powdery white. It's not a strong, strong in your face white. <coughs> so again, I'm just going to do a coat of pink. And another coat of pink. Now here, this is what I like to do for my clients, but before I do it, I am going to just touch up this white again, because I do want my white on these two fingers to be a bit wider, because I'm going to be dragging that pink over it. So I'm just going to... Freshen it up a little bit more, or brighten it up a little bit more with a third coat. Okay. I'm capping my free edge, making sure that that line there isn't going to be there. Okay, that's better. So, like I said, now that's got three coats on it, and that's a, that's a lot when we're talking in the terms of someone trying to dry it. So what I like to do is I like to get my air shield, and I actually like to dry those first three or four coats, because if you've used a ridge filler or a nail hardener, there's your two base coats and then your two polish colours or in the case of the white tips there's the three colour polishes so there's five that's a lot to try and dry even for um, my heat shield so what I like to do is come through I like to fix that I like to, I don't know where all this hair's coming from, top coat it, then do those. So, being careful not to drag the white back through it, I like to bring my top coat down very close. I'm going to reload my top coat brush. Then I'm going to turn my brush over once I'm into the white to make sure I am not dragging 
any white back where I don't need it or want it. Then I'm going to take that and I'm going to wipe it off on a mat and make sure there's no white on there and I'm going to do it again. Plus, as you can see with the white, it's really pretty now. It's taken any imperfections out of it. So, while I'd normally let them dry a little bit more than that, but it is my fake hand, and we are limited for time. So, once that has been applied, then I am going to come here and I am going to create my French. Now on my shorter nails, I don't like a big, big French. I think it looks funny. So, and I don't like my French to be too deep, which I did. So I'm just going to fix that up a bit where I can okay perfect and I'm going to let that dry for a minute and then I'm going to come to this one and it has more of a free edge so we can play more with doing it so that's more so the V and I've just put the little line in the center so the more you play around with doing Frenches the easier it becomes and I highly don't recommend using those tapes to tape off yes I do have them but if you use them you get into this really bad habits and you can't do it freehand and you know what the most impressive thing at the end of the day is to do a freehanded French that looks good I mean it's never going to be perfect but I think that's what the, makes them look more natural so on these ones like I'm just going to get this one and I'm going to put my pink over the top and I'm going to grab this one and put my pink over the top of it. Now for me personally, that's all I do. I wouldn't go and put a second coat because I think as the longer it wears, it becomes pinker. But that's my personal opinion. Everyone is different on what they like on their Frenches. So, please, you know, um, yes, we're getting back to basics, but that's the best thing about nails and stuff. Once you have all the, the theory, what you do after that is another story. And how you make it work for you is a totally another story. I have a friend who swears by using um, her liner brush to make her French lines. To me that seems a lot of work and then she polishes, it seems like a lot of work to me but she swears she can do it quicker than what I do it just by doing this so it really is what you like and she likes her Frenches to be um, 
more um, taped looked than I do. So, okay, so they're my four French nails. They're complete. Again, let's change it up. We're going to say to this client, we can, you know, talk to them and say, you know, have you ever thought about nail art? Have you ever had any done? And they're going to look at you and go, no. Well, let me do a, a, a finger for you, a feature finger for you. Let me get that hair off the dotting tool. So she's gone ahead and she said, yeah, okay, what can you do? And I'm going to here, I'm going to put a dot, and then I'm going to drag that dot down. Then I'm going to put a dot up here, and I'm going to come back the next way, and I'm going to make a little heart. And I can tidy that up with my brush. Um, but I'm going to use that part of it there. And I'm going to put another one here. And I'm going to put another one here. Remember not to push too hard like I just did. And then I'm going to ask what their initials are. And I'm going to grab my black that's here on my table that's already here. And I'm going to put an N, tiny little N. And a T. I could even outline it with that black if I wanted to go to all of that trouble. I've got my black here. I've got my detail brush and that would clean it up. Just that little bit more. I'm just going to shadow it. Like so. And just here. And then I'm going to get a little bit of that black in with that red. And I'm going to darken it up a little bit. Just so just here I can highlight that other heart a little bit and give it a little bit that it's two hearts and blend it through okay and then you put some white down and you could um, put a shine little tiny little shine dot on it if you wanted to go that far for her because we did do initials okay, we don't have to do that we could turn around and get a pretty red and we could do dots getting smaller as they reach the middle and then going back out the other side so there's lots of things we could still do our five dotted flower Or you could just say, I just need to put some fresh polish out. 